there. I'm Kimberly with StellarNet Spectrometers. We make UV-Vis and near-infrared spectrometers. They're all field portable, rugged, miniature. You can take them out into the lab, out in the field. Um, right over here, we have our UV-Vis spectrometers. You can see the internal optics bench. Uh, we have our holographic concave grating, which is very different than um, standard cross turny turner spectrometers. Uh, there's no focusing mirrors inside the optical bench has a um, holographic concave grating, so you get low stray light, there's uh, less light bouncing around inside that little box, and uh, uniform spectral shapes and resolution. Right over here, we have an LED inside of an integrating sphere. As you can see, it's changing colors in real time. Uh, we have our black comet spectrometer looking into the sphere and detecting the color changing LEDs. Uh, you're getting the intensity readings as well as the color chromaticity values, color temperature, all that good stuff. Hello, my name is David Perino from StellarNet. I'm the director of OEM Business and I wanted to display some of our OEM applications that we've developed for this year. Here we've miniaturized our electronics card. We actually folded it over and consolidated all the parts so that you can use the same driver to control our spectrometers that you would with a standard spectrometer from us and integrate it into your solution. So we've also come out with a new smart control applications processor which is designed for us to plug in spectrometers of uh, legacy and current design and the computer inside processes applications and sends out standardized communications protocols uh, with answers rather than the entire spectrum. So a customer could develop a calibration and send out concentration data over a serial interface, RS-232, general purpose input output, 4 to 20 volts, Ethernet, Wi-Fi. We've got all kinds of communications protocols coming out of this thing. We also have our new SpectraWiz mobile application which we're revealing this year. We've developed different application types so that you can communicate with our onboard processors or the smart control to do color applications, concentration applications, radiometry, absorbance chemistry, and we're adding new applications all the time so that you can put this on a Windows PC, put it on a mobile phone, and uh, send different types of communication in a touch format. Here we've been developing open and measure field portable case systems that have an entire application built into the base. We have an eight hour battery life so that you can work with it for an entire workday and then go home and plug it into charge. These have been developed for law enforcement, gemologists, geologists, biologists, anybody who wants to go out into the field and measure an unknown substance with Raman, near infrared, or LIBS can purchase one of these systems, walk around with it, open it up. They don't have to worry about it getting wet because it's a watertight system. All of these systems come with an applications library so you can actually search previously observed samples and do an affinity match to the sample so that if you're working with law enforcement, we have a forensics database. They can identify narcotics unknown substances that could be benign or dangerous. Uh, we have our most popular Raman spectrometers, the Raman HRTEC. Uh, we have this in a variety of different wavelength ranges, uh, including 405, 532, 630, 785, and 1064, all as standard. Uh, we do do custom ranges, uh, uh, wavelengths, so contact us and we can build the spectrometer for your application. Uh, the Raman HRTEC comes standard with a one-stage thermoelectric cooler, uh, which cools 15 degrees and improves signal to noise. Uh, you can also get a variety of upgrades with the Raman HRTEC. Uh, the first one is a two-stage extreme cooler, which cools 30 degrees and provides uh, a reduction of noise about 80% at long exposure time. So it's really great for uh, low scattering Raman samples. Um, you can also get an interchangeable slit upgrade put on our Raman HRTEC and we, we definitely recommend you do that if you have a variety of different research applications. It gives the user much more flexibility and can choose between high resolution and high sensitivity applications. 
Um, all of our ramen systems are modular, um, and so they can be hooked up with um, different accessories such as microscopes, probes, or different lasers. Today at the show we have uh, a demonstration using our Romu laser vial uh, and our new hypernova spectrometer. The 785 laser shoots into the sample chamber and passes back to the spectrometer. The hypernova is our newest spectrometer to our series and is our big reveal for the show. Uh, it uh, was created out of necessity to bridge the gap between really high-end spectrometer systems and low-cost modular systems. Uh, and it includes a research-grade back-thinned CCD, uh, which is uh, vacuum-sealed and cooled to negative 60 degrees. So it's one of our most high-performing uh, uh, Raman spectrometer systems uh, and is a great solution. Hey, thanks for checking out our booth here at Photonics West. Please check out our website as well, uh, stellarnet.us.